start the damn server for this for this Yay. quick fix. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like, all right, maybe the jump, the jump, the no, jump. I don't, I don't just know. said no. The jump pack does have like the whole power right, gauge sure. and shit, uh, and the Mizraya. Uh, so if you can look into that and, all right, if you decide to. Do we need the exosuit mod? I don't think we need it. No. Oh, yeah, they didn't put that in uh, yet. He's still doing testing on it. So, hey, uh, Zal. Mm. You want to do some payday after this? You want to play oh, some payday? I got payday? stuff I got to do tomorrow. I got to go to bed after the op. Oh, We're going to okay. steal some shit. Come, come on, you don't, yeah, you don't want to do a stealth mission? User left your channel. I what do you want me to say? Ah, oh, but 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 stealth missions and payday, it's totally not frustrating. No, yeah, totally not. <laughs> keep me up till like three o'clock in the fucking morning when I have to be up by five. Yeah, totally. Actually I got it down to a science because I've done the stupid one to get the Tierra so many fucking times I can clear it in two minutes. <laughs> maybe three at the most, if the drill wants to be a little asshole. You, you go in, you sneak in, you steal the tiara, you book it. Any of the living fuck guards are just going to get fired because they, they didn't know that like three or four people got tied up and at least one or two guards down. took the bullet. The rest of you were out here doing what? Keeping an eye on the civilian, sir. Well, what about the dude with the camera? You didn't notice he went down? No, what sir. <laughs> You think Armo just crashed on the launcher? Oh wait, can we join in? Yes, we can yeah. load in. It's just we had to uh, reapply some fucking mods in the mod pack because they weren't applying properly. Mm. I'm just waiting on uh, AWS right now, and I'll be back in. So, um, Zal, um. I'm just doing something very so radical right channel. now. Okay. I'm making a Frankenstein BD gecko right now. I just, I, I just absolutely loved how when I was helping test the exosuits, nobody told me that they had a jump pack. They're just like, hey, the humans in this mod can do the, 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 the thing Healy like shuffle when you're using melee. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me see. Grabs a melee weapon. Goes to hit the dodge User button, gets flung into the air, and it's like, oh, if, if you're using the uh, EXO, it actually has a jump kit instead of that. I'm like, no, you tell me. <laughs> I just hit spacebar, and suddenly I'm airborne. I'm like, wait. I'm sailing away. Wait, fuck, what I do? <laughs> Your mom. It also has a ground pound, which is absolutely disgustingly satisfying to do. And I did it by accident, and I'm just like, oh, oh, yes. User left your channel. So I'm pretty sure Kit will be happy with it, although they're going to have to get uh, used to the fact that they're going to have to shove batteries up their ass to recharge it when it goes down. I don't think they'll mind. Uh, I don't see any more human slots. Over, over shield is over shield. I, I, I don't think they're gonna mind showing a battery up there. I was going, oh. All right, Ross, hold, hold off for a second. There's people actually having issues that may be trying to get in touch with, like, Bell. If he's still here, he's not. He is not. He is not. But uh, they're out of human slots for vengeance. All right, um, I'll go tell them. Damn it! Damn it! Phone, shut the fuck up. Hey, Pepper! Shut up! That wasn't Pepper. Frog, Pepper, Fox. That was Tomato. That was fucking. F that's Falco. Falco. Not the Tomato! Not the tom right. Falco, because he's a. F I like how he's a bird, but he's got a Bronx, Bronx accent, he's but he came from a place that's not the Bronx and he's supposed to be Italian. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm go tell Fel right now. Yeah, I'm loading right Arma slot. back up right now. 
He's uh, th in the canon for that character. He's from a well-to-do family that may or may not dabble in things that may or may not be legal, which is why he knows the ins and outs and back alleyways of some planets. And I'm like, wait, did Nintendo have a character that is a that is a hero that has ties to the mafia? Wait, hold up. That is literally a space pirate. Yes. But hold up, back the fuck up. Wait, <laughs> Falco. Lombardi, uh, Lombardi or whatever, and it's like, wait, hold up. Was... Hey, yo, Falco, my boy. <laughs> yeah, like, hold up, crime syndicate family turned fucking, like, hero? Joined your channel. And I'm like, uh, all I can think of is Falco only yeah, doing this. If you were trying to get the human. Falco only doing this war because fucking, uh, the arms trade's gotten real quiet ever since Monkey Boy took over the fucking User arms. Left your channel. The arms race. Like, Ayo, that's like thirty percent of our family's User income. We gonna have to fix User this. Left your channel. User left your channel. <laughs> I'm getting yoinked. I got a slot. Yoink. So apparently uh, Falco's. I need to do more because I got. I believe Luna is also coming. I don't know if she's loaded in yet. I have no idea. They usually stay quiet until, like, absolutely talk. Channel switched. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. I think we're in the wrong place. Yeah, I think so too. It still kept my HUD from the uh, thing. Did you know that with, uh, have you tried using the new HUD? Hit the menu button. What's the HUD? Uh, trust me, uh, hit the thing between Alt and Control on the right side. Hit that button, and you'll see a HUD. You can actually change the overall colors of it to suit your needs. I don't see a HUD. You don't? Why do I? Control windows. I don't see anything from control windows. No, control and alt, there is a button in the middle on the right hand side. On the right, between the right alt and right control, there's a little menu button. Push that. Nothing. What the? Why is it working for me and not you? All right. All right. We just have to respawn over there. All right. Uh, uh, I'll yeah. Buttons on your keyboard. That's like a box with some lines in it. You tap that, and uh, it will bring. It will turn it on. You don't need to actually put anything in your inventory you don't want. You just freaking oh. hit a button. My oh, that's small, the function key, that doesn't function. Yep, yeah, so just all you gotta do is just go in, if you go into configure, controls, and configure add-ons, you're looking for the Miss Raya HUD. Controls, configure add-on. 
ones. Trust me, you're going to love the HUD, especially because you can customize and color it. Yeah, boy. Shift so your... app menu. Shift yeah. app menu. Oh, find something different for it. Yep. This is where my like tiny human body broke falling off that freight. <laughs> Seriously, I took chest damage from the from getting off the top of a shipping container. Yep. What the fuck? I highly recommend you find which key it is that it helps you descend from the advanced bolting system. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Because it will Imagine it will keep you from breaking your puny like human that's bones. Crazy. Oh, yeah, I just won't climb things most of the time. Well, Zal, at the, well, Phil, at this point, it sounds like an issue, not an issue me. So that's exactly good luck. what it is. I'm just being more eloquent with the with the uh, statement. Oh my gosh, this is literally the um, one hut. I had this control um shift at the shift X or something. Okay. Isn't it nice? Yeah, no. Mine still has my uh, my presets of two tone blue from uh, uh, when I was helping test it. It's fucking great. Yep. I set mine to to red to coincide with the purple. I like the way that the two combine. Uh, yeah. Well, well, it's 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 my icon. Like the little crux is two tone blue. So I'm like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm literally nodding up a uh, set of legs right now. This beauty lizard is made of three, uh, well, one, two, three, four, five parts? Hey, Fel, you tried hitting shift L, uh, while, uh, wearing that, uh, that HUD? Shift L? Yeah. Oh, low light. Yeah! And you can adjust it with the plus and minus key, I think, to, uh, uh, to suit your need in dark light. Really suit you. Huh? <laughs> no, that's actually a line from Warframe, and even the AI like will sit there and do that, and it's just like, wait, was that a pun? Because your AI, your AI goes between full AI to having a slightly different voice, because their brain is kind of brainwashed to be subservient, but some breaks through the cracks of their original mind. So it's like, that armor suits you. Was that a pun? Wait, wait, wait. I, I remember the cosmic background radiation. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did that during the night ops, and I spent the entire time blind as a bat, only uh, being able to see the bastards with um, when they fired their guns. So I was kind of counter sniping when they were doing that. And then someone was like, oh, why didn't you just use Shift L? I'm like, no one told me this. <laughs> I turned it on, and I'm like, oh my god, where was this five fucking minutes ago? Like, for real. But now that I know about it, I'm like, oh, this is absolute glorious. It's better than the low light that we had with the with the night vision. And it's built in, so you could save that space for, like, other shit. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I think I also included something else in there that's going to be fun for, for the Vic crews. Because uh, I added the uh, A3 uh, infrared upgrades, which for vehicle crews is going to be a freaking game changer because we'll be able to see everything and then so oh. um hey Bell, did crossley yep. also tell you with a shift asterisk on keyboard you uh on numlock how you can actually cycle through your helmet teammates helmet cams no he did not i don't know if he has that set i don't i think that was one of the other phoenix uh one of the other misraya things with the tactical thing so i don't think he has that one yet well, we'll have to check. Was it shift asterisk? Yeah, the okay. little asterisk on the keyboard. On the numpad part of your keyboard. Shift asterisk? I'm not getting yeah. the ability to do that. I you can have see my own head cam. I can't cycle it, though. 
Do you have anyone in your squad? All right, hold on. Hold on, I'll fix that. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay, Phil. Yeah. Would you like to see what... All right, now try to switch to mine. Like? Try to switch to mine. Yeah, I can see yours now. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to be using that to find um, certain casualties laying on the floor. Yeah. All right, it won't let me uh, won't let me swap to yours for whatever reason. But Zal can find you, Enigma. Huh. No, we gotta find Zal a lot of times because. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, you could literally uh, even if they're down, their helmet still stays on. So if you're like, all right, shit, I can't contact whoever this is. I need I. I got a breathing uh, room, like, to, to look. I'm going to take a peek, and you just see that they're not moving on the ground. You're like, yep, they're on con. <laughs> Helpful. Yeah, yeah. I was probably going to keep it on nav, though. But, uh, maybe not. I mean... I, at this point, I have so many information displays on my helmet. I'm, <laughs> I'm a walking deck ops. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, dude, there's, like, so... Like, it keeps count of how many bullets you have in the... It, 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 like, oh, I still have my mind detector and my navigation on my panels up, plus the, the motion tracker, plus my shield bar, plus the helmet cam now, <laughs> plus the compass. I mean, yeah. It, it, like information. I've got too much of it streaming into my face right now. Well, think of it this way. You're the commander. You having all that shit, like, right there, you literally have a command center in your fucking head to keep an eye on this shit. So it makes sense. But I mean, I'm suddenly, re I'm suddenly reminded of how Zal makes the comment about me uh, having like all the voices in my head at the same time. Uh, well, well, if you look at your DMs, you will see the Franken Lizard. Franken Lizard, yay. Franken Gecko, sorry, not Lizard. All right. Yeah. Um. So, right. Phil, where would you like me? Uh, I'm probably going to need you Over in there. the uh, heavy Hush. infantry. Okay. Because we are currently lacking. We are lacking much, and we are uh, we currently are a mostly human <laughs> setup tonight. Okay, so. So the good news on that respect team is that uh, we have multiple very highly trained Sangheili, and then a slaughter who has been rocking the shit out the last couple of. Yeah, tonight. Well, I got tonight. I'm gonna be making an announcement. He has done exemplary work for three official ops, so it is time. He's going to be getting his. He's going to be getting his. Uh... It's a gender reveal party. I knew it. I'm going to slap you both. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't have napalm installed. We can't do a gender reveal party, at least not California style. <laughs> it's a boy. Burns half the forest. <laughs> I mean, this is coming. This is coming from the Floridian. We make control. We make controlled fires, so there's not. Since when? Hey, every fire in Florida is controlled. We have the Everglades. <laughs> no, it's literally we. We literally do set controlled fires in some like areas, and then put it out. Uh, yeah, I know. We don't we don't have too many wildfires that go just unchecked. We're so used to wildfires that we learn how to like control it and shit, so we don't have to worry about it. A wildfire in Florida fire? is really a redneck having a bonfire. Fire. <laughs> but yeah. All right, bring everyone together. Oh, Jesus, who's got their headset off their head? Uh, that's usually that shit where they're like, "Well, I I I I put I put a lot of gas in it," and I was like, "I mean, is that enough?" I think that it's gonna be a bunch of other people joining us in age, in Aegis at this this point. Uh, slaughter. Are we using the uh, AMTRC one five two or the one five three? I uh, I know that I employ um, where is it? I employ the one five two. So it's got a 5km radius. Hello, 
I will find whoever is transmitting my voice over. Okay, looks like someone fixed it. I will find you and I will hurt you. Slaughter, you know how to set up your, uh. You know how to. You know how to set up the uh, Mizraya thing? That sounds like an issue. Oh, uh, hun, I was with you guys when we were testing that shit. Yeah! I'm making sure. I'm double. I showed I showed Fell. I showed Fell that and and that and he I, like I just heard. Whoa! <laughs> like I thought you said you tested this shit. You didn't even know about the low light or the fucking ca he helmet cam. What the fuck? Yeah, there's one thing I noticed about the the low light. It breaks my night vision. Oh yeah. Oh no, it breaks even more on the fucking. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, uh, if you're gonna use the Mizraya HUD, Sal, don't use the the Shift L, uh, in in tandem with any night vision, because that's low light mode plus light uh, night vision will definitely flashbang yourself. Hey, bro. I made I, I made that mistake, and apparently Slaughter did too. It's like, oh, cool, I love the... And then it's just like, Arma says, think fast, Chuckle Nuts. Because I noticed when I was testing it with the UNSC's head uh, gear, fucking, it didn't go all white on me, it just went into darkness. And what was the... Do you remember what the button was to, to edit the HUD? Uh, for me, I changed it to the page up, so mine's like shift page up. I have to go to configure real quick. But if you're yeah. using you alien, go to you just go. Yeah, you, I'll you go to whichever that channel you want in one. You ear, don't have a face. Uh, and set it to be that to set it to be that ear, and then you go to whichever one is set as your additional, and then flip it to the other ear. I personally keep both. I mostly I bo personally keep the short ranges in my left. E uh, no, in my right ear, and my, my long range in my left right? because I have slightly better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, why are, is there still a powwow on top of the, uh, on top of the one roof? Because that's where the cool kids hang out. <laughs> I called everyone over already, I'm pretty sure. Everyone come over! Teacher wants us! Um, I'm going to hurt somebody. Where is Vengeance going to be falling in if it doesn't show? Or Voodoo? Are still missing a Voodoo? Yes. No. Uh, okay. We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, I need to get this briefing underway. Okay. Uh, for those of you that have probably opened up your uh, your maps, you will already have noticed that there are markers that are placed about oh, the uh, battlefield for our objectives for the night or day. Sure. Time that zones. thing, that time it is right now. Yes. Whatever time, time, yeah. Mm. Uh, time, Moima. Uh, after the events of the last twelve hours, uh, ta our taking of uh, Isra and Demna, uh, we have had a major event break loose on this planet. Um, we are currently. On the back side of a, I don't have it drawn on here. I can, but it, it, but if we're uh, currently on the wrong side of a uh, of a battle line between uh, the local UEG and um, the insurrectionist cell that we were assured was going to be a small problem for us to simply sweep away. <coughs> it turns out that the information was completely inaccurate. Uh, the a Litany of Valor is currently sitting over the um, airfield that is to our far northeast, and uh, the associated uh, large settlement that is there. You will notice the big green oval on your maps. That is where the Litany is currently sitting. I thought that sentence to kill. 
She is providing uh, a heavy reinforcement to any assets within the area so that, they, so that the battle line stays as stable as possible. Given that uh, things have hit the fan pretty hard. Uh, as of about an hour ago, forces that were uh, believed to be allied uh, inside of the, uh, a old fob overlooking the tower of Al um, Al Quisa, I think it is. The larger settlement that's to our. Thank you. That is to our uh, southeast. Um, Open fired on a garrison that was inside the town. Uh, where can I mark it? Here we go. Uh, the associated. Here it is. Um, the blue marker is where the garrison used to be. Uh, it has since been dis it since been demolished. Uh, fighting broke out through the streets, and uh, UEG forces were able to. There's a kid. A decent amount of civilians before uh, being forced completely out of the area. <clears throat> they have managed to reinforce uh, us with what inf with what intel and assets they could the rest of it's on the rest of it's on our own from our own supply uh almias that's further up the road to the to the east <coughs> has been thankfully spared much in the way of combat um some local uh ueg scouts have been maintaining a uh, a vigil from the uh, hillsides to keep track of what's going on on the other side of them, because we currently have the ridge line between us and our combat zone. <clears throat> the locations marked with the purple squares in uh, Memeta and uh, can't see uh, Naba. I'm Naba. not going to pronounce the second part of the, that name. Uh, are confirmed to be currently clear of uh, and of hostiles. <laughs> However, uh, the town of Nawa, uh, Bargab, and Tibna uh, have all been overtaken. The situation inside of Greece is currently tilted in the favor of the insurrectionists, but there are police forces that were last seen in the area trying to put up a resistance to them. Enemy assets are so far concentrated on the battle line that is uh, several kilometers to our east. Actually, more than several kilometers to the east. I'll give you guys a marker for where the battle line is currently drawn. The red phase line is uh, User where, joined uh, your where, channel. where the battle line has been drawn between the on the uh, UEG and our own forces. Uh, I'm just going to at least put some markers on here so you have a better idea of what we're looking at. The town of Alafrio. Uh huh. We're a stranger one fine day. You looked around. Uh, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use the 24. Okay. Go uh. So, with the battle lines in several kilometers from our position, the majority of uh, problematic assets, let's call them, are 
currently a good nine kilometers away from us. Uh, that does not mean we are not still expecting to see at least light vehicles in our combat areas. Uh, and we'll be needing to arm uh, with the expectation of engaging them. We are going to need to uh, clear what assets we or clear the area of what enemy assets that we can. Uh, most especially the area on the hillside at the uh, the uh, fob. Uh, let me put a name on to let me put a name to this so you can actually. Uh, <sighs> I'm just gonna call it the arty fob. I refer to it as the arty fob because there are times three field guns that are positioned on that hillside that were used to destroy the garrison. It was not simply an engagement <coughs> of uh, rockets or other explosive munitions. It was a bombardment of uh, times three uh, light field guns. Basically l smaller scale artillery pieces. They don't have the range of a standard artillery piece, but you still don't want to mess with them in a direct firefight if you can help it. Got it. Quilk will not run in face first. Yeah, it would not be recommended to run up that hill into the barrels of those things. Uh, the just purple... put priority target Quilk. <laughs> <laughs> It is a priority target, but don't don't make sure you have your active camouflage on when you take it. Uh, the purple <laughs> marker inside of Alquisra or Al whatever the hell that place is, uh, AQ. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna call it AQ because I'm I'm not going to continue mangling my tongue trying to pronounce it. Uh, Al Alqueso Al dip. Civilian marker inside of AQ. Uh, it was the last known location of any civilian survive of any civilians that were attempting to flee the area. It is currently an unknown if there are any uh, any any allies still there or if they've been completely overtaken by hostiles. Uh, if at all possible, I need uh, I need to get some kind of intel on what the situation is in that area because we need to know if we have any civilians that need to get extracted or not in that zone. Uh, do I have any questions at this time? Yeah, I got it, Shaw. Thank you, though. Uh, civilian presence... Uh, yes or no, and if yes, where? Um, so, AQ has been largely evacuated. The status of uh, Nawa uh, should likewise be ha should be evacuated, uh, having had most of their, their population flee up the road and uh, to the east. Uh, um, I can't, I can't pronounce any of these names. Uh, the one that's currently marked with the question mark. Uh, Greece. Most of the, Greece. Uh, yeah, the civilization, the uh, population of Greece fled west towards the coastline and should be largely out of the way as well. Um, Mem, um, Memeta and uh, Naba to the uh, the the southwest of the engagement area. Uh, are populated with civilians, uh, though are currently not under immediate threat from hostiles. So, we want to try to keep it that way. I have a question. Do I have our, a possible answer. we get our cloaking hog? No. Aww. Uh, we do have drop pods that are available for insertion. They are over there in that building. 
Not sure how many people saw that. They're over there! They I, are over no, there. are fucking smack you. They're over there. Over God there. there. <laughs> I do have a question. Go ahead. The, uh, the fob that was destroyed, uh, what was, uh, their assets? Did they have any, like, armored vehicles, any of that sort? Anything that the NEs could get their hands on? Uh, in AQ, there was, uh, as far as we know, there were two... There were two... What does it say in here? Sorry, I have to find the right file. Um, according to this, they had two Oryx, uh, IFVs that were, uh, being used to try to keep the area secure. The garrison was not a very big one, so they were trying to maximize their, their, uh, the use of the troops as much as possible with them. Um, Unknown if they are still active or if they were destroyed in the initial firefights. Got it. So expect some possible armor assets. Possible, yes. All right. They can uh, try some air air asset bullshit, but. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> I got that. How do I activate the helmet cam? Uh, that would be shift and hashtag on the numpad. Do I have any any more questions as to <laughs> what we might be facing? Like once. Um. Are we just dealing with Innies, or are we possibly... As far as we know of, it's just Insurrectionists. But these are Insurrectionists that seem to be extremely well-armed for a cell that kind of popped up out of nowhere overnight. So, their supervisors are keeping well enough hidden. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. Are we... Are we expecting any more Oni shenanigans? I think the Oni shenanigans are the fact that these guys are so well armed. Yeah, that's why I'm saying their supervisors, uh, the people let's, funding let's, them. Let's, let's save the hypothesizing for when we are not standing in a, a briefing. If there are no further questions, you guys need to get planning and uh, get equipped, because we may have ho we may have hostiles that are currently whittling down what allies we have in the, the uh, engagement so zone as we speak. What I heard is more bombs. Got it. So, napalm, napalm, and more napalm? No. I'm probably gonna be off. I'm gonna have to the last one. Uh, hey, uh, Seth, I believe I am attached to you um, for uh, the duration of this op. Uh, if you. Have anything specific that you want me to carry? Uh, as quick wise, just let me know. Well, you got decent A. Uh, you got decent AA. So at least having two of us with AA, we already got that check marked. Well, I'm thinking about switching over to. Uh, the also, that's your own whisper. Either way, the Spartan laser will do well in AA uh, if you can lead the shot. And I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. Um. No, I just wanted to make just wanted to make sure. Um, so, right. I got faith in you with the AA, with the AA, because fucking I've heard stories. <laughs> <laughs> They're well earned stories too. Oh yeah. to get over here to actually do the planning or what? Just in case if we see any of those IFBs. Yeah. That one doesn't lock on, so that'll be good for ground effects. <clears throat> yeah, but I only got one magazine's worth of it because uh, I don't have enough space for more magazines. 
That's okay. That's four shots in that bitch plus the 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 extra magazine. So that's a total of eight. You'll be able to. I could, I could do with the uh, with one last primary and see if I can squeeze in another one. Uh, I do have air assets that are available to you. The battle line is not so bad that you that you would be hampered from getting uh, to the combat area. Uh, yep, I was able to. We have options of uh, fixed wings, though we do have some closer at hand, um, some closer at hand uh, flying support. If you prefer, if you want to give some of your newer toys a try. Um, those I would like to use those newer toys. The only problem is they aren't going to work because I those are all two men, like minimum. You can't. Designate the the weapons are used by the by the uh, pilot. So basically, what happens is you can't. You either are in the pilot seat and won't be able to lock onto things with your weapons, or you're in the gunner seat, and any time you switch off of the manual like control mode, it'll immediately fall out of the sky. Huh. I'm pretty sure I've been able yeah. to these things to. Because when you're in the pylon settings, you can actually designate who's got access to the systems. Can you? Yeah. Hmm. Um. What are... When... So my ammo counter and all that stuff is only working when I'm in the arsenal for some reason. Huh. Uh, it only works in first person. <laughs> so, um, all the way at the bottom, there should be a helicopter that's, like, when you spot it in, it'll be white. Yeah, my silver energy sword ammo count doesn't show up. I can run that. That might work. There is the, uh, AH-96 Coyote that is currently outside. That is a six pylon attack helicopter. I got two of them right. sitting outside of it. I'll have to check on that. Is there an ammo truck next to it? There is. Alright, I'm gonna go... Or, well, should I stay here or should I check on that? Uh, go ahead and check on that and see what you got for options. Uh, it will kind of affect what we might be doing for... how things are gonna work, so... Yeah, well... Because if they want to grab, like, a lot of, like, napalm and stuff... Uh, we can plan around some napalm runs. Yeah. There's a lot of possible... The napalm is pretty, like, pretty neat. Pretty gross? Uh, in its own right, yes. Oh, yeah, there's one thing I did forget to ask. Uh... Do we have to take care about structural damage to the towns? Uh, it was an initial concern, but given that this has turned into a full, a pretty full bore um, insurrectionist threat, we are currently in a, a situation of suspending the uh, the previous rules of engagement concerning collateral damage. Hey, firm. This this sudden onset of an insurrection, oh. if we are not able to to stamp it out quickly could lead to the full ta the full uh, annexation into oh God, of this you. world into their whatever plans they have. Yeah, if we don't stamp it out quickly they will gain a foothold. Yeah, we don't we don't want that. The closest to a foothold is our foot up their ass. That's the closest they get. This as much as we want to leave them. Alright. Do we have anything that... Are we just going to go with the... Do, do you guys have a plan that's coming up here, or are you guys if just... You like, the, if you take a look at the map of Drums on the map... I do um, see a bunch of arrows. Yeah, so what, what I'm planning on is this. Uh, we're going to have a contingent of mixed forces basically go to objective Ash. From there, there's going to be a few changes. Uh, we're going to have, I would take B5 to forward out, forward, uh, observe basic objective bog. Um, and 
Aegis and the Tenth Legionnaires will take care of Gris, and then from there you will move to Nawa based off of the recon that you give while Quillic moves toward the Jet of Dusk. After Nawa, we will then split off again. Uh, we will have Aegis meet up with uh, meet up with Quillic at Dusk while we could choose to either have Beta 5 go alone, or then we can have Vengeance and Beta 5 go to Barag, aka Objective Char. We clear out Char, and then from there we rejoin on the path to go to uh, Tibna, that Objective Ember. I'm digging it. It's systematic, and it keeps them from trying to regroup uh, if one thing gets attacked. And then essentially what's going to be pivotal here is that essentially what's going to be, it's going to be a risk, but we have to have Quillic essentially move through this grassland here, which there's probably going to be minimal to no cover, so you guys will have to move quickly because you will incur any forces from Alkisa, so you guys will basically be taking a direct path across this farmland into Objective Dust. We're going to call this Operation Skywalker. How about no? <laughs> he was scared that he was walking in view when I blasted him with it. Oh, that's right. I need to blast him. Hang on. Seems like a pretty good breakdown of the best to go through. But yeah, that being said, I like that plan. Uh, I think Glass has got it pretty good, and we'll have like good close range and decent support fire from Shaw uh, to help, you know, cover things, if not help buy us time at the front line by mulching some of our enemies while we're moving through objectives. This works on a lot of levels. I'm definitely into it. item for the C-Tab, because that's built right into the Mizraya thing. Yeah! And low light mode! That, that, that tickles me so fucking much, I love it. Yeah. At a certain point, there's a... I mean, there's still some advantages to C-Tab, because I can actually access the, uh... Like, you can access a few different things from other mods through it, but, uh, yeah, it certainly removes the need of having to have everyone carry a damn helmet cam, which most people forget anyway. You have to into the standard mode. That's just, that's just stuff. the situation where I can't access oh, okay. it without I don't know what's going on with uh, your audio, but you are very crispy. And I can tell it's not the voice mod. A uh, part of it is the voice mod, because it sounds like they're talking in Shredder's mask from Teenage Mutant Ninja. They were talking without it earlier, and they were still crispy. Can you hear me now? It's kind of poppy. You're just, you're crispy. I don't know what crispy means. Crispy? <laughs> Yeah, you can hear pops between words. It's not you, Fettel. It's Kit. Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. I can't hear Kit. Oh, lovely. Well, it was gone for a second, and then it did it again. Why do I, I, I can't don't hear Kit right now. Uh, Apparently, Fettel can't even freaking hear me, though, so we'll be Kit, can you try using... Try using uh, short range or long range. I've been checking the long range or the short range. I can see the wave thing above her head, but I can't hear her. Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, I wasn't uh, even on that. That might be so, a problem. Uh, that... Yeah, I was calling out for team leads on 98, and no one was responding. Two nine eight checking in. Here is long Good range. Check. Can you hear me, though? I can hear you, kid. It just it, for whatever reason, it sounds like you're almost at the limits of the long range right now. That's a very common bug, and usually what happens when I can't hear you. Alright, uh, do we agree on the plan being put first? Is my LR crunchy too? You're fine. Get with your people, get with your people and let's just work on a plan uh, for in, in, in our side or part of the game. Yep. I'm going over to man. Also, uh, Slaughter, get on my team. Follow someone's lead. I got here late in the briefing and then had to deal with rebuilding yeah, I'm my I'm gonna try out. something real fast. Slaughter, get on my team. I am on your team. Well, I mean, no, uh, you go into Ace 
while you're behind me, go into Long interactions range. and go Long into... Long range receiving. Uh, go into join group. Kit, can you hear me alright? should be still in the same I can hear you fine. I see Fel, Jess, and me on it. Uh, first there we go. Because I joined the Aegis Squad, so it should have put me in the group. Yeah, but people are joining people. And can, can, I can I hear Kit now? now, or can I not? Can hear me nope. now? Still not. All right. Okay. So what are we doing? I can hear Kit now. You can always hear me. Yeah. And the cameras weren't working temporarily Again, because uh. This is not a problem with you, Seth. This is a problem. I'm going to just try reloading. The only one that cannot hear me apparently. Add on for this. You are your voice is getting changed. Also, Sha is uh needs a fixed wing. Just to let you know that for later. It might be an issue with voice mod itself. I think. Uh, Drongo's air ops. I'm not 100 percent sure. User left your channel. Check before he spawns a fixed wing, cause no point spawning a fixed wing where I'm gonna be broken and then there's gonna be. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Like, totally like, set voice mod. Hang on. Just shut down the application and restart it. Oh, it looks like error. Wait, Drongo's would be up here. Yeah, Drongo's error operations is still unclear, so there's no point in spawning a fixed wing aircraft, but I won't be able to fly for another five seconds. Speak again. Uh, sometimes. So, I guess just give me a base, like, huh? I won't be able to use any of the pylons. Yeah, that thing, is still there. I guess that's Do you want me to, uh, once we clear yeah, the yeah. first objective, right, objective, right. objective Ash, do you want me to go down and check on the city of Alkisa? Uh, we'll play it by ear. If we have light, uh, contact on the first objective, then something's going to be up, and we're going to probably have to check out Kisa out. Because I remember the kiss he, he was saying that it's still possible. I wouldn't be able to civilians that need to be extracted. Like I wouldn't be able to. So I have a long range, so I can get in there and call for extraction. Yeah, if it's light where the first objective is, that means that they had to divert people over to Ki uh, Al Kisa. I do also have cloaking, so. so yeah. That's unfortunate. So yeah, yeah you. Wing, I would you can, well, we'll check that out right now. But yeah, you can be our HRT in the situation. Like air, air missiles, and I wouldn't be able to shoot it down. Yeah, uh, I'm, with, like, I'm gonna. Uh, I think probably next up, we're above four next up. We're gonna be Drongos because it's just, it makes your job way too fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Phil. Stare at it. Give him. Give him one. I heard my name. Oh, that was Jess. What's up? Um, cooking. Oh. Hang on. Get cloak to. Give cloak to Jess. Give cloak to Ventul. Hey! Functional stuff is functional. Yay! Cloak actual, have, uh, have Ventul check the uh, active camera system. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of the uh, helmet cam because. Uh, please repeat last bastion. I'm giving yeah, a quick brief frames. rundown to Vengeance uh, Actual right now. Yep. Hey, Firm. Um, <laughs> I want to have Venthul check their uh, active camouflage system. Solid copy, will do. User yeah, joined your channel. Good Look at that chicken! Look at all those chickens. Okay. <laughs> It's, All right. That's better than right, putting it in another one. Look at the chickens, Eddie! Okay, uh, so I spawned a standard... Hey, uh, Bastion, this is Vengeance Actual. Go ahead, Vengeance Actual. Apparently, we're out of human slots somehow, because Luna can't join. Would they be willing to use one of the... the KKR slots? I do not know. 
I mean, I can see Luna right there in front, right there next to, uh... Can't, wait, can't they join and then, like, s switch? Uh, sorry, miscommunication, apparently. Yeah. No, they're in. Uh, apparently they're in because we have eyes on them right now. Yeah, that's what she was just saying. Miscommunication. Pylons, does that have? No, that doesn't. Why is it that the goddamn piece of shit... Bell, can you hear me? Yes! Bull crap. You're not Bell. <laughs> such a goddamn problem figuring out how the hell to access freaking, uh... The, the goddamn extra shit added by air weapon system. What the fuck? Hey, what's the problem? Oh, I was just looking at the Hornets. I'm like, how is it that the Hornets do not understand how to access air weapon system assets? Because all of, the, all of the helicopters used in the Octray stuff all have private pylon. Like, they all, all have, like, first, like, their own pylon settings. Nothing else can use their weapon, and as such, they can't use anything else's weapon. That's the dumbest bullshit ever. Yes, it is. Which I is why, it. which is kind of the reason that I found with the AH-60 pack. But it, it, now we're having the other problems with the AH-60 pack, where I have to two man those. I'm still working on figuring out a way of like specifically hey. setting an AI. What? You know how to do the Mizraya? Send you a I'm wearing the Mizraya. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm saying, do you know how to do the HUD? I have already activated it. Uh, you know that shift menu will allow you to customize the colors? How do I shift menu? What, what is the menu? Uh, the, on the... the HUD with, just shift that button, and I'll bring up the uh, options menu. And shift L will turn on low light mode, and shift and... The pound sign will allow you to toggle your allies' cams if you have cam mode active instead of nav mode. So you can check up on your team even if they're unconscious. Be like, oh, that, that cam ain't moving, they must be uncon. Yep. There's two variants, one's a cargo, one's an actual attack. Huh. Alright, that's uh, Yeah, it's really handy. And low light can be adjusted with plus and minus key for your comfort levels. Hell yeah, there's got a lot of features. I figured I'd. Go for Bastion. Uh, do you want me, do you want me to just roll out in a vehicle, or do you want us on foot with a just... I have an interesting proposition, actually. Can you hear me at all, Mark? Can you... I can hear you fine, you just can't hear me. So I have an interesting proposition, Miss, Miss, um, Miss Pilot. Um, how many Vengeance guys do you actually have with you? Apparently I have... Voodoo, Luna, Phoenix, and Snooch, so I've got four. Okay. So, with four of you guys, we have the UH-60 pack installed. Uh, if someone can run the gunner seat on an attack helo for... for Shaw, there's also... A, uh, the U there's also the, um, where is it in here? There is the, uh, the UH-92, uh, Cherokee, which is the, which has some, the weird, like, side rotor things, but also comes with a whole bunch of guns and pylons and shit. So you, you could literally, so with two door gunners and a, and a pilot, you could legit have just be a, a flying gunship with Shaw and whoever's running gunner for for her pulling Cass, and then leave the uh, the ground combat to the psychopaths 
that run around in heavier armor with shields while you're just raining hell from above. I like the map for that. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Morocco first, then Shaw. I like the sound of this. And Shaw, what, what were you saying? Are you talking about the three pylon helicopter? I forget what they're all called. It's one that's three pylon and it has a uh, gun, I believe. Yes, there is a. Uh, where is it? Uh, there is a. UH-92 Cherokee, which has got the two side, the two side rotors, that is, uh, I don't think that one has the, yeah, it does not have the, um, the pylons, but it, too, it does have two mini gun. it does have two, uh, mini guns on either side. That could also be used for rapid reinsertion if necessary, because it's got a whole crew bay. Yeah, it does. We could legit. You, that's a legit. Got a. I think it's got uh, eight seats. Maybe twelve. It looks like. Well, yeah, we could legit insert the. We could legit insert our entire team via that thing, and then you guys could just orbit and rip shit up. Yeah, Jess, if you want to ride in, in our uh, in that thing as para as mobile paramedic, we can easily get you into places. That's plan. Well, yes. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to be on the ground with the infantry, so I, I hope that we will be hearing some good communication, or I'm going to bonk some heads together. Fair enough. I will uh, call for volunteers. Well, Engines. Sound, sound off if you are on the yeah. uh, Have you placed whatever aircraft is going to be used? They are behind this large structure next to us, the hangar. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay. Uh, Hi, Blue! I assume you can Blue hear me more. I, I can hear you, yeah. Alright, I'll meet you behind the side. Yeah. Alright. Hey, just make sure you get yourselves geared up, and then head towards, and then head towards the backside of the uh, hangar next to us. We're going to be deploying via a uh, a older but still solid gunship. I'll be on seven seven tax seven. Five set, five set. If you need help and you need like, and you want someone definitively listening, listen for me. Yeah. Hello. How's it feeling? Yeah. Peachy. Actually, yes, I feel like a peach. So you feel like you're gonna get kidnapped by a fire-breathing lizard? No. <laughs> God damn! When you were talking about old fashioned, you weren't fucking kidding. Well, they gave us the variant with no pylons. Why would... Okay. Good job, pal. Oh, no pylon. I cannot hear you. I told you guys this one doesn't have this one. Bell, you must construct additional pylon. This is a meeting. Uh, beta five will be inserted via Silverback. So, pal, you want? They expect us to so, Phil, you want gunship, but if you want, like, if you want pylon, if you want an effective gunship, we're probably gonna need pylons. Unless we're just running transport, because otherwise this one with pylons only has two seats. There's a three pylon ship that has a machine gun and then also has three pylons, so... Well, let me see what I can find. Alright. This is gonna look goofy as shit, but it's uh, gonna let the, uh, it's gonna let the squishies be able to actually, you know, do the things. Alright. Where is... Is it the 60? No. 80? I'm glad that... Am I good on this, uh, right gun? 
I'm glad they said uh, they asked yeah. me to help restore this thing. Well, My studies paid off. I know this is gonna be goofy. This is gonna be a goofy situation, Val. I know. Uh, yeah, no, I just need to know what the hell's going on. My team's wondering what the fuck's going on, and I couldn't hear you because like 15 people were on LR. Uh, we are inserting via this thing. We are gonna be. We are gonna uh, go into objective. We're gonna head towards objective Ash and this. They're gonna. They're gonna uh, basically drop us off, and the squishies are gonna use this thing to act as. Uh, close air support slash, you know, orbiting, uh, orbiting Bert gun. Hey, <laughs> firm. Uh, hey, kid, are you streaming? No. No? No, I haven't been streaming this thing, this game for months um, now. I think you should to, stop being surprised. Huh. Variation that has pylons uh, for these guys to use. So, how many people do you have in your stream right now? Everybody, Blue says hi. Hi blue. Uh, hi, blue. Hi, Blue. Hi, Blue. Are they going to... Are, are, they gonna... are they going to hop into the door guns, or what? They are... There's supposed to be two of their guys that are going to be getting in the door guns, yes. They, they are currently attempting to figure out what's going on with Lona. In addition, uh, somebody is already sitting on a door gun. I think it's Jess? That was me. I moved. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what's going on with Lona right now. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. Uh, I'm going to be paramedicing around. So. Uh, yes. If you have there it goes wounds, there. Please, please, I please. Found US I found. Navy helicopters. They've got one that has the. Found dock basically on black on sides and pylons. That's basically black box. Also, oh, Jess, yes. if we have enough wounded, uh, and here. you're out of uh, bubble shields, I have two in my backpack. Call on me and I can help make a triage if you can't retrieve yours, which we I'm, know. I'm bringing four. Yeah, he's, he's been our chief medic for a while. So. No, no, yeah. so I'm running a specific, like, medic role. I drop my number of magazines down to, like, three. I have, like, I've, I have skimped <laughs> so much on my equipment. I'm not here to kill. I am here to put you all back together. So this is a very yeah, valid use of kill. Yeah, I know, but sometimes Weird. Arma doesn't nice. let you pick your shield back up. Yeah, hey, I think that's why I got five. Waiting on. I'm yeah. an unhealth care provider, so... <laughs> I think we're currently just waiting on the squishies to get back over here. I think they're retooling their kits a bit so that they can be uh, not carrying so much bullshit when they're in the aircraft. <laughs> But to answer your question, there's currently three viewers uh, over on Twitch, uh, and at least two over on Kick. Have you pooped your Zal today? Three. Just just comes up. Uh, I diagnosed you with spina bifida. Can I get a second opinion? No. <laughs> I mean, you're you're saying like this old fucking ancient rust bucket ain't gonna lift all of us up. Not our fat asses, especially the Zalzy guy. That means we need a meeting of some sort. It's, it, it's, it's, it's been enhanced for our usage. What was that, Vengeance? Rib for her pleasure. Voodoo wants to talk for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I, I, I know why. I didn't do it, I promise. Unless it was amazing, then it was me. I don't put all the in court, if you ask. I, I know why, why they're taking a hot medic, because Voodoo wanted to, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, uh, Voodoo's, Voodoo's tearing into the, into the squishies for some of them are running out ahead like a bunch of numb nuts. Ah! <laughs> why did you oh, sound like Walter laughing like that? And we're not present for that? Man, I would have brought my popcorn. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, uh, Vengeance, I, I hate to uh, interrupt your meeting, but we do need to get moving. I gave a bag of popcorn in the backpack. Bag of popcorn, uh, a cold soda, and a lawn chair. I'm a co I'm a cozy for this. <laughs> they went that far ahead, Jesus. Yeah, it's glass. I'm I'm I let him go the fuck ahead because then he stops yapping in my ear. Holy shit! They're already at the objective. 
Yeah, because they, yeah, because they started, started while everyone, everyone else was fluffing around. When you do get a second and you're on the ground again, you might want to realize. Can somebody okay, tell the pilot where the heck the LZ is? Shaw, get in your own chopper. I'm flying this one. You got snooze at your gunner. Alright, I didn't hear that plan fully. Alright. I'm on the left door gunner. Yeah. E hard NASCAR. Down. All around me are the work work faces. Now I'm I'm what I'm I'm in your stream. Work work faces. I gave you an LZ ape. Alright, I'm on my way there. We'll be there in nine five seconds. Join my head, I wanna go with Blamite. <laughs> we are on approach. Please don't drop to where I have to put you back together. It's out. I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. Drop the chatter. Saying, Hilly, jump, jump, jump. Jess, we need medical here for Enigma. That's it, they are on the battlefield and engaged. Enigma, how you doing medically? Alright. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I'm like, ooh. Pull security with yeah, slaughter. Police officers dead nearby. Where's our medic at? Sorry, you got northeast. I'll get uh, southwest while triage is active. Say again, I'm getting LR and SR in my ear. Looks like uh, the two outposts in the hills over the city have, uh, have preparations to essentially infill the object of bog the moment something pops off. Still a guy. No. Here. Let me get closer. Oh, I was already doing that. Ash, we've taken a couple casualties in our uh, route and are getting. Getting members uh, put back together. Slaughter, how's your health looking? We'll keep our eyes open. We're not going to engage just yet because we don't really have the force, but we do have the eyes. We'll keep you informed. Hey, bro. Do we have Jess on station? Uh, uh Jess did drop. Uh, where y'all to? Where y'all need me? Oh, kind of too late. Uh, we already took last care of the situation. known situation was I think where you're already standing. 
Say that again, Jeff. Copy. Comment, this is Anvil, recommend that you watch air flight. There could possibly be a man pad. Copy that. Uh, this is Jess, ready for pickup on white smoke. This bastion's moving up on your, uh, be your uh, left side. Hey, firm. I see. Uh, it looks like Zal from here. Gonna hop the fence and continue moving. Pop of red smoke and give you something to shoot at. Wait one. Sounds good. Every be advised, objective dusk has um, what looks to be like one times AGL Falcon as well as two times the salt. Note to Aegis. If you see red smoke, keep a marginally safe distance. I repeat, red smoke, danger. Information on also in the sighting of a Goss cannon uh, stationed next to the Pelican at Objective Dusk. Be careful. Vengeance Actual has engaged a Pelican on the ground. Looks like it's got its troops out as well. Pelican is Fashion, airborne. This, uh, this is Thomas. because we got hit by one rocket. Of course. Um, sorry about that. We, apparently, the 
pilot has access to all of the missiles, and the gunner has access to the gun and the laser. But the pilot nor the gunner can actually use those right, missiles to target this, anything. So they're all just dumb fire. Right, that sounds lovely. Even the uh, target lock button's not working. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We are going mayday, down. Mayday. We have confirmation that uh, Pelican is currently tracing up their vengeance to actual. We do not see any movement from the Falcon station at dusk. That's not one of ours, is it? No, it's not. Nope. We that need That's AA, not AD. Pelican down. Yeah. Apparently, Tom is able to use air to air missiles, but not air to ground. That's friendly, bird. Kit, where are you at? The one that went down is friendly? No, the, the one that's over there. Oh, I knew that. Uh, how can we on blue smoke? Aegis to Bastion, shall we check out the crash site for survivors? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we need to go, we need to go get them out of there. Where the hell did they land? I don't know. Okay. No, I, I brought them up on blue floor. They are oh, two hour, it uh, looks like south? Yeah, almost direct the like south south. Uh, I'm gonna be taking Quillick and moving on to Dust right. to go in. Slaughter, let's go. head south to the crash site. Let's get our boys. Our birds go down. Did I just did I just clear all of them at once? No. That's the wrong. You just said comment, there does not seem to be any survivors at the Pelican Rack. The friendly or Never the mind. uh Aegis is moving to secure the uh the downed uh, wreck and uh, benches. Copy that. So Alright, uh, direct south. Oh, southwest you said? Alright. According to my uh, mappings. Oh, the fellow said it was directly south. I'm like, wait, hold up. Uh, Bastion, would you mind giving Luna a teleport, please? Don't mind a bit. All stations, uh, objective action is clear. Aegis is moving to regroup with Vengeance. Quillick is moving on to their objective. Copy. Uh, Anvil has eyes on Quillick. Uh, recommendation, do you want us to stick with the plan to help assault Bog, or do you want us to loop over to Char? Because from the position, both Char and Dusk's forces can actually move down and actually attack Bog from where they are. We have confirmed snipers at Char. In that case, I have to say that uh, Char becomes the objective, becomes a higher priority because we don't need those guys putting fire on us when we're trying to take the other ones. Copy. Uh, B5, B5 will move the Char. Follow copy. Quillick is moving on dusk as we speak. Aegis is approaching crash site south uh, from Angela. northeastern position, 200 meters out. How's everybody? We're good. Like I can We've finished that. patching up. But I cannot hear <laughs> the audio of me shooting a gun. Anyone you can walk away from, I guess. But I damn. Sort of crash <laughs> you have got a you have got a mastery of auto rotating things like I don't understand. <laughs> Kit and Shaw are fucking crash landing masterminds. It's crazy. Look, Phil, I can actually tell you how I learned. By, by, crashing a, by crashing a shit ton. <laughs> Actually, no. There is a YouTuber who does a whole bunch of helicopter stuff. By oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Dyslexy. Yep. Freaking oh, phenomenal. He did, he did an entire episode <laughs> oh that's like 40 God. minutes long on how to crash land. And I used oh, to just I fall asleep. I think dyslexy is the one I picked up my uh, Hotos configuration from. I, I, I love to continue this like uh, appreciation of flying skills, but we got a job to do, so uh, is everybody, well, yeah. everybody's good, we should probably get going. Uh, so. Yes, I was actually about to ask, uh, either we can get moving or I can try to transmat down a new bird for you guys to take. I mean, I would prefer, at this point I would prefer it works. I know Luna wants to get in on that, on the infantry fighting, so okay. we can use the orcs to transport everyone. 
orc to this. And, and if need be, I can uh, I can attach myself to uh, your squad since we're not I'm not getting to uh, hot drop into action anymore. <laughs> If you feel uh, if you feel that you'd be better suited to helping them in the field uh, while they're in the Oryx and support fire for it, uh, that'll be oh shit. Yes. Uh, this is Anvil too. I am providing Overwatch support for you on the northern one of the northern hills. How copy? And then you keep moving. Alrighty, let's go. I'm gonna attach with them. Alrighty. Anvil 1-2, this is Bastion. I'm not sure who you were trying to communicate to, but uh, we are not in position to actually accept that overwatch. We are currently moving into position. A firm, just giving you a heads up, they are moving towards your location. So we heading in too, or we uh, providing support? Bastion, be advised, this is Anvil Actual. I have Anvil 2 watching over uh, Nawab. We have forces exiting I mean, I'm Nawab in, from the uh, west. Ah, uh, yes. Slot upset, get in here. Alright. What the hell was Glass saying this time? I have no idea. Fuck. I appreciate his tactical, uh, his, uh, the tactical acumen, but there's a point at which I'm just like, okay, just, just go fucking do, because you're. You talk so much in my ear that I am about ready to slap you in the face. <laughs> I like the guy. He drives me bonkers. Oh, okay. why are you touching my knee? I'm bored. My feet hurt. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? That was supposed to be only in that day. What? Holy shit! What? That was it. That was it. That was. That was blue. That was blue. Friendly orcs on the move. Friendly orcs on the move. Please do not fire and please be ID your target. I saw one of them wing off the top of it and I was like, oh shit! I think, I think Shaw saw. Shaw saw. Harper <laughs> and Shaw went third. <laughs> Shaw literally went <laughs> just turned. Eyes glow. I mentioned the possible armor assets. Bastion, this is Colin. Look, a target! Go for Bastion. Oh, how do we do We're going to rearm and try to see if we can make the force shoot oh, so that we don't actually have access to the missile. Affirmative. We are currently moving to engage, uh, objective bug. Hi, right, look! Enemies! Oh, hi! I'm gonna go say hi. Um, and go to Bastion. Oh, I am! What looks like LMP fire, I am assuming that is dead. Don't stand up, keep on the move! Finish the back and we'll go off the field. We have an orc. Alright, They're about to be a flatline team. Slaughter, what's your, what's your status?
I'm gonna fall back a little bit and uh, medic myself before I pass out. My blood is empty. Oh fuck, it's going grayscale. Oh shit! I have side of vengeance. I'm good check. Really surprised I'm not I'm on the ground. Up. Good. The good news is that. Oh, I'm just about that. My radio somehow reset. Oh, and you're not really? passed out as of yet. Your head's taking. Vengeance. Up. You have people pushing from um, your northeast and southeast. Hey, firm one two. Uh, we are currently we are currently trying to patch, or at least I'm trying to patch Lily together before she winds up narking out. This is Quillic Actual reporting in on massive casualties over at dusk. Off four casualties to clarify, not blue four. Off four casualties majorly at dusk. A firm, A firm. Uh, we are currently engaged down in the in fog, and uh, I'm somehow narrowly keeping. I can do taxi with taxi support right now. It just dropped me over everyone else. We don't have any other seats, I don't believe, on this thing. Uh, Set, you should have access to drop pods in that uh, that hangar next to the spawn point. This is Anvil 2. Uh, I am on last bag of sniper shots, so after this you're on your own. Okay, that's another, that is another objective down. Repeat, that is another objective down. Alright, how do I do the drop pod? How do I use the drop pods? This is Anvil Actual. Uh, we're currently clearing objective char, uh, and we're in the process of clearing it out. Sounds like uh, like uh, dusk is already pretty much done and dusted. We're he we're gonna head up the hill towards Char. We have clarification. I'm hearing needlers go off and buy a position. Do we have anybody backing us up here? 
Uh, Anvil, you should have you should have allies coming up the hill towards you. Uh, if not, have uh, Quillic already redirected to, to your position. Copy. actual bastion. Whoever's firing on dusk, please stop. You're hitting friendlies. All stations, all stations, make sure you are not firing at objective dusk. We have friendlies on we have friendlies on objective dusk. Danger close to ordnance. Copy that. Well, this is new. Coming down a little off course, but I'll be there shortly. What do you mean they're gone? They're dead. heavy armor at dusk. Really? Okay, I guess I must have missed that. 
Yeah, we're just, there's a couple of us that are mopping up what's left in Char, in the uh, Char, and then moving to Dusk. Apparently I'm already here. We found a, uh, we have confirmed that the pop, that what population was here has been terminated. Solid copy. Been slightly busy here, so I haven't had a lot of water time for the LR. My bad. Got it. Copy that. If you are not currently engaged uh, in disposal of enemy assets, make sure that you uh, rotate some security towards the direction of Objective Ember, just in case we have anything coming from that direction. Yeah. Okay, for rotating. Alright, yeah. Give me a sec. Holy shit! Uh, I give you about 500. That ought to do you in a little extra. And a morphine, you said? Oh. You want... I mean, I have morphine if you need morphine. Alright. Uh, you need an epi with it? Alright. There you go. Bastion, this is H. The actual, I'll copy. Good copy, H. The actual, I'm currently heading towards the objective dusk. I am currently awaiting at dusk for further orders when you get here. Say again, I lost you amid some of the uh, some of the audio of weapon fire. I am at dusk, awaiting your arrival. Hey, for many minutes. Anvil, may, uh, take a second to uh, regroup, patch up, and uh, we'll be. Pressing, uh, we'll be pressing Ember shortly. Copy, we're gonna move back to our silver bag and see if we can get some forward recon done. We're not gonna engage and see if we can get some mines. Affirmative. Hold on, Luna. Give me a second. Uh, there's some stragglers that are on the hill here. Do you want us to redirect or do you want to keep them? Or do we come to the Them, or would they like us to move on towards forward uh, recon? Alright, Luna, I'm getting you a little breathing space. Uh, Bastion will uh, direct you to continue with forward recon. It's just a handful of uh, op four. Yeah, but this ought, to, this ought to make it so they ain't gonna be able to pick you so easily over the hill. 
They haven't been taking me for reason. Like, I've been able to tank so far everything they shot me with. I mean, passed out. Yeah, either I'm. Either I'm. Yeah, we doing ages. This armor is so good that it's doing better than the other armor. I'm doing good. I'm fine. Rotating over to you, Phil. Back in the Squillage actual, I'm rerouting my squad to come and I kind of attached myself to you and Aegis. How copy? Say again, Quillic Actual. We are redirecting to you at dusk to assist with intel sweep and security. How copy? All copy. Uh, I think we can still have some. There might be some uh, computers that survived the in the HQ. Though it looks like it's got pretty well blown apart. <laughs> Good shit, he was fucking trying to fake it. I knew I saw it. Be advised, we have eyes on what looks like one to two squads, one stationed at the far southeast at the top of the hill, uh, and one stationed at the bottom, no eyes on additional conflicts. Anvil, I missed part of that due to uh, a uh, sit rep local here. Can you say again? Oh, uh, retransmit last. Bastion missed part of your sit rep due to sit rep provided locally on the situation in town. Can you repeat your last? Uh, retransmission, we have eyes on two sets of squads, one uh, station at the top of the hill range where the village uh, apex is, and then we have another one at the bottom of the hill range at the beginning of the village. Uh, one seems to be on a uh, course with dusk. I do not know if they are... Yeah, the two I checked ain't got shit on them other than uh, some rather impressive armor. Affirmative, Anvil. Uh, we are doing a quick uh, sweep of the area for any applicable intel, and they're going to be pushing that last objective. I'll copy. Solid copy. We're going to keep eyes on, see if anything changes, and we'll push in from our side. But we are going to be going in on foot because they have uh, what looks like a few snipers as part of that team on the top. We also have eyes on what looks like uh, anything from Seaburn equipment. As they seem to be primarily wearing gas masks, so we do have potential for a biohazard. Affirmative. It seems to be standard kit. I was just looking at some uh, bodies of Op 4 here at my feet, and they are also wearing sea burning. Good copy. Uh, then this room. How's everyone doing? Anyone? I'm good. Oh, don't worry. I wasn't worried about him because there is a tank right behind me. So I'm like, if they don't see him, then I'll turn and fire. I shot him. I shot him. Alright. Yeah, I know. I've noticed some of the enemies got back up too. We have confirmation of fire coming from the west. Uh, is that you, Bastion? Negative. That is. That is not. Uh, that is not me. That is. There is an oryx as well as comet shooting at the west. Uh, sorry, the shooting, we're shooting at the farthest town. Copy. We have multiple tracers that attempted to hit the apex of the hill. Uh, it just stopped. Oh, and it started again. Yep, that's us. That's comet. Uh, ten four comet. We see your damage. Uh. It looks like they're scattering at the top. Copy that. Bastion, this is Anvil. We're gonna move in uh, under the guise of Comet's uh, fire. Let's see if we can pick off some of the stragglers.
stations, we're going to go for the uh, the long range approach on these guys. Be advised, you will have assets danger close in the fire zone. We are moving in to see if we can pick up anything. They do have radios and other things on them. I uh, recommend that Anvil stay back for the moment. We'll give you an all clear. Copy. Uh, Comet, get ready. i uh, activating my laser deck. See if you can't lock it. Comet's gonna rearm. Hey, firm Comet. Uh, that last shot was definitely advantageous, though. I swear to God, that sniper that sounds like a sniper. Like we stirred up, up yeah. was on the back side of that uh, hill. Uh, affirmative, we also see the movement. Looks like they're starting to go over the crest. We're up on the crest. Uh, so there, shooting at us. I was wondering why I was white-headed. Are you sure it wasn't that cigar not being exactly tobacco? If you needed it and it was my corpse, then by all means. Pretty if much. That dude. Oh, that dude got absolutely roasted. Man, fucking poor homeowner's gonna come back and he's gonna find his house ripped up with the holes. I just saw the movement. I decided to just go heavy ordnance on these ones. You want to go heavy ordnance? What heavy or what heavier ordnance do you have? I have a parent in orbit. I can cloak in and put a red smoke on on location. We need to drop that Paris, that is going to hit us too. We'll we'll uh we'll save the Paris for another time. Uh, all stations hold fire. Uh, try to suppress if you can, but the Quilk is going to be going in. We're at the entrance fighting a team. They'll see us on their way in. Oh, that's getting back they're in all there. dead. Or they're having a very bad day. Oh, I'm pretty sure a majority is dead. The PNG of trees was blocking my, uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I are the uh, in, the ID tags <laughs> on uh, hostiles are reading pretty minimal. We're just gonna we're going to save the heavy ordnance and uh, have everyone move in to clear up what's left. Save, save the heavy ordnance. That's too late. Can you Hey, 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 there's a, a, those field guns are so loaded that we can drag them over here to fire. Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball! <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm falling. We're about to commit. Advise uh, attack team to the northwest of the town has been taken out. We're about to commit massive irony. Want us to grab the uh, third one and bring it over? Can you grab it? Alright, bring it over to where Fel and them are lining up. We're literally about to shove their own guns up their own ass. Fashion, this is Comet. We've got some AG cluster, like, gunfire rockets. Do you want us just, okay, do you want us to just, uh, okay. hit objective ember? Say what? The uh, wait on that and uh, on that comet. Uh, quick, like when you have the opportunity ready. to mark a target for uh, Three, two, comet, one, go ahead, pop press. some red smoke, and yeah. they'll uh, have some fun. I'm sure. Are we both carrying it together? No, I'm in the gunner seat. <laughs> Bell over here. Bell, we did a we we did. <laughs> Fail! We're sending Hellfire. <laughs> what did you do? Ah! Uh, check on telemetry, it's glorious. There you go, we'll be uh, at your location here shortly. <laughs> I appreciate you two so much right now. <laughs> I think he likes your idea, Slaughter. <laughs> Here comes the artillery. Who the fuck wants some blammo? <laughs> Alright, you ready, Slaughter? Adjust right. Adjust right. Alright. Pull it down, tool too fast, and how calm it is. Good copy, well extended. Any more adjustments? Uh, the town is currently being All right. leveled. Good. <laughs> Good effect on target, and uh, the town is pretty quiet. Just a few stragglers on the opposite side of the hill. They've been taken care of. Ember is uh, for all intents and purposes. Affirmative, more like we're just. At this point, I'm too ticked off with these guys to just let somewhere that they uh, came in and swamp just be a possible continued. 
source of whatever the hell they were looking for, so I'm just kind of taking out my uh, frustrations. Don't mind me. Oh, Hey Jess. I'm carrying. He's in the gunner seat. <laughs> Is there any of them left? <laughs> Give me a sec. Yes, it's Zal, did you <laughs> like my warning? It was fucking beautiful. User left your channel. So you Zal, did you like my warning? User you joined your switched. channel. User joined your channel. Channel switched. User joined your channel. <laughs> Two seconds later, screeching shell goes flying by your head. Zal. Wow. <laughs> so. And it didn't help that me and Slaughter came up with a dumb idea. I was carrying the gun while Slaughter was in the gunner's seat. We had a mobile artillery piece. <laughs> it was glorious. No, 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 no. That is, that, is the that is the sound of a that is the sound of a supervisor who knows his Speaking who of knows his underlings and trusts them to do a good job. Can I? Say that? I haven't done that in a while. I needed a vent. Yeah, but if it la if it's left open, it could tear bigger. It gives me personal XP, okay? Line up. Sorry for shooting at you earlier, but you didn't know you had a tank. Yeah, we weren't told about that. Please, please, just ID next time. Also, your armor is going to make it very difficult to ID you. Just saying. Yeah, granted, right. black. Uh, no, he's I don't, black and red. I don't blame you oh, for Inferno putting Company. a burst yeah, into the ISD. Yeah, he's literally role playing as Inferno Company light. 
Not, not to mention that is also, like, the general fucking color scheme of every insurrectionist in existence. Yeah, Buddha, you're gonna get blue on blue a lot if you keep that armor color. I recommend changing it. <laughs> I can't. Snooch already took the other User one left me. your channel. <sighs> you can look the same. That's kind of what a uniform yeah, actually yeah. is. Okay. <sighs> Alright. So, the uh, the usual question at the end of an operation. Are you on yellowing, cool. pal? Uh, I don't think I am. Hang on. You might want to be. Check one, two. Better. You're good. Okay. Also, who is dying over there? Please. So, Die the, uh, the usual question at the end of an operation. Who, wa who wants to guess it? Did we have fun? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, Phil, I don't think, I don't, honestly, I don't think that uh, Comet had fun leveling the entire town. I'm not sure on oh, that shit. One. Oh, no. no. I was having fun. We gotta fun. go level another one, dude. Then Zal me, now it. I have no fun. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure, you know. <laughs> also, Nanaki, that sounds painful. <sighs> then tell Imagine trying to, to remove it afterwards. All of them. Alright. So, uh, unfortunately, we lost a couple pieces of the uh, the operation due to just misfires of code, apparently. Uh, because there was supposed to be uh, there was supposed to be a conf computer pick up for Intel in the HQ behind me, but uh, we could not get the damn thing to actually let us, you know, pick up this, this stupid thing. Uh, and there was also supposed to be another pickup uh, that was going to be present in uh, AQ, but admittedly the, uh, the individuals down there uh, wound up um, Oh. Oh. I might send you guys go down there to get that because actually I just realized that uh, we missed a spot. Uh oh. And that would explain why the second the the another another part of the Intel stuff did not fire. <laughs> uh, so I thought this was Index, but I but I also thought that the that the entirety of the uh, of everything had been had been dealt with, um, in part because the the. Uh, allies that were supposed to be down in the town had already, actually already been shot up. So, uh, I'm actually going to teleport everyone now, uh, down there, and we're going to have one last little uh, one last little hurrah before we, we yep. wrap this up. Uh, unfortunately, cool. i got to go. Alright, go pull out your weapons. Yeah, we're about to... Take care. Good job. Absolutely everything up to this point. Now, how did you get negative 10 tanks? Don't worry about it. Huh? Uh, because they were uncrewed and therefore technically on our side. Oh. Yeah, they were oh. technically kind of neutral. All right, everyone, cancel your animations and get ready. This is gonna be. Well, your your score yeah. sucks, bro. <laughs> All right. Get Teleporting players. Get ready for. Uh, this is probably gonna last all of about five minutes, but it still should be interesting. This is going to be an absolute massacre, and I love it. Beat, beat me up, Scotty. Right. Spread out. Scott. Damn. Vengeance over here. Target is construction site, uh, just on this road. What exactly are we looking for? Okay, so construction site. Hello? I hear there's some insurrectionists that ordered a pizza. Hey, Von calling you. Checking the second floor. Housekeeping. Contacts.
tank accidentally shot him in the head. Shit, I was in that when it collapsed. So, cubbies were among them. <laughs> I was in the building and it collapsed. Race, the heal. Bastion, can Quillic Actual get a teleport as well? Buggy melee is buggy and made of bullshit. Steel just slapping him in the face. You got lucky because they can one shot you with those energy swords. Speaking of lucky, if you had managed to keep them out of the animation, you would have been fucked. Yeah, hey, kid, you want to buy some rocks? Holy shit! You want to buy some rocks? Do you have any rock candy? The one person that's important. <laughs> the actual ass for it. Hey, fuck your head back in. No, I hate, I hate it all. Ah, oh, damn. Um... Do you have any rock salt? Hmm. Shabam. Does cocaine count? Uh, sure! <laughs> I have plenty of that, but it's in my other suit. <laughs> Are you actually stuck? No. Alright, and now for the intel. Heckin' intel? Oh my god. Oh! Good half. Put it into the intel log. Yep, spec up, please. So the bit of intel that you guys hadn't uh, hadn't achieved yet was a salvaged data log from a uh, covenant from a covenant data device. Data salvage complete. Reconstructing log. Uh, and their report on uh, progress of screening action. Do not engage forces of the fleet unless there is no other. There's no other option. What assets and end of usable data? Basically, what the intent was is to imply that uh, there that there's a covenant faction that or a uh, ex covenant faction that knows that we are currently being engaged on this planet, and as well as the fact that Oni is doing shit. Because the plot shit. fucking thickens. Oh no, not shit. Oh, surprise Pikachu face. Alright, yep. um, before I go, if you want glass me, do it now. Because I have to go get on my nebulizer. Okay, go just go out and get on your damn nebula nebulizer. Yep. <laughs> Ow. And that's how we redefine with extreme prejudice. Yeah. Standing in the middle of the ring of fuck you anyway. So that battle can not be done. Oh, it's okay. If I look at the oh. right now, it's hidden by your. Ah, you move! Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, that thing is so. Uh, it seems like we lost like half the crew uh, after that anyway. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna get into PTSs tonight. 
I was just hoping to wrap it up on a fun note. Uh, so, yeah, I was trying to imply that uh, someone w was invested in us being distracted here as long as possible. Uh, multiple somebodies were invested in us being distracted here as long as possible. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get us back into uh, the campaign that's been on hold for a while of dealing with, uh, unfortunately, my, uh, my fell or Graham's uh, clan who is in the middle of a civil war <laughs> amongst each other, uh, which Oni would prefer just remain in the civil war and not have not have the clan actually, you know, pick a side, a.k.a. Uh, How did you get so injured? Uh, um, a.k.a. Uh, bring our ships to bear beside the sword, uh, the swords of St. Helios. Because referencing lore from the books that have been written for Halo shit. Of Oni trying to keep this St. Helios as destabilized as possible for as long as possible. Uh... all these things that happen that so close to the end of things. Okay, uh, I unfortunately need to get moving, uh, so I, as much as I want to actually, you know, uh, dive into some of my assessments and whatnot, I unfortunately do not have the time currently, and need to go take care of some real-life things that have popped up in the last, like, 15 minutes. Uh, Yay! If... Before you go, I have to ask you a question. And I have an announcement that is... <laughs> Oh, I, have, I, I do want to announce uh, a couple things specifically. Uh, Slaughter, get your ass over here. Hi. Because uh, I know that was something that that was something that Sent wanted to bring yes. up. Yes. Something that I wanted to make sure that was brought up as well. Uh, uh, you are after this operation and and uh, with things uh, as they are, you are. Uh, do for your you're due for your gauntlet and getting your ass out of that that aspirant armor congratulations you're going to be moving up the ranks to a minor and be able to actually get all get all the fun toys af after completing your your gauntlet we are definitely looking forward to your continued success and see where you choose to go from here yeah. uh where is did Sean already leave? Sean, Sean? No, Sean's right there, next to Slaughter. I couldn't, I couldn't tell because everyone, everyone using the same the armor from the same mod, which only has a hand, which has like no color variation. I can't tell who's who. Uh, yep. I, Welcome to uniforms. It's, it's fine. Um, this is why the, everyone has nameplates, and I need to actually make use of them. Uh, I need to get you set up for your gauntlet so that you can have, since you can, so you can be a, a, official. Uh, since you are well past due for being able to actually run around in uh, the correct major rank. Why am I seeing somebody... User left your channel. Who the... Hi, the... Oh, that's Snooch. I'm... Hi, Snooch. <laughs> I just saw your head moving through the rubble. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? They've, uh, they've evolved into a diglet. What about uh, flying? Um, do, 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 who who just wants to learn flying? how to fly? I, I know no, how to fly, not. just that this man needs to give me the actual thing. Yeah, I didn't need to run you through the, the actual process. Uh, and, uh... Sharp. I, I, uh, also want to iterate to Ven, to Ven that you need to, uh, up your major rank by one, because you are well overdue for being yep. a, ma a major, uh, rank two. Oh, there was a Ven. Alright, Ven, uh... Oh. Let her know that she needs to... This needs to be major two, major not major three. Major, major two. She's been. Uh, we were talking about life. that before the op as well. Okay. So that was going to be doing my. Yeah, yeah. Or is that somebody else? Um. Yeah. Who's it can be me. It, it could also. You, if uh, someone else, if one of these other fluffer, crazy fluffers in the command staff, uh, have the ability to do it, then you could. Then I've uh, said that I'm willing to. The only reason I didn't do it friggin' today was because. I wasn't sure if you had to because Shaw is technically lead of air cap. Um. Well, two I see. Well, no. 
two I see effectively, because I'm basically the lead of air captain. Well, yeah, that's uh, the point. Is you are by technicality yes. the one to give the gauntlet. So I, I was asking I'm, for. I'm I'm the leader of air by technicality. <laughs> By the time we get one else being weak. Now that I'm major, it would make sense. Exactly. But... Um, so yeah, it's uh, any of the command staff are able to provide uh, provide her her uh, her oh. gauntlet. I do recommend giving her the ability to actually have some fun in the air while you're doing it. <laughs> All right, air gauntlet confirmed. Got it. Air gauntlet for airborne. Oh boy. Um, this might be interesting. And unfortunately, <laughs> Jess already left because I I also needed to well, make sure fun. that. Uh, I mentioned that Jess needs to get their uh, their gauntlet as well so they can properly be running around as Evo Cotty. But I digress. I need to go take care of stuff because now it's there. Now people are seriously waiting on me and I need to head for the fucking hills and take care of life stuff. So right, unfortunately, see. this is where I need to bail. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Uh, uh, I gotta, I gotta be out early, so I also have to go. <laughs> User, left your channel. User left your channel. User disconnected from your channel. Ah. ah, yes, and here we have the floating bloody bandages. A mythical sight indeed. <laughs> User left oh, your channel. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Bitch! User disconnected from your channel. Channel switch. Yeah. I was gonna tell you before you ran off, um, uh, or basically ask you, are you still up for helping? Like, I know you don't, you're trying to take a break from the commander things, but since it's slaughter, you want to at least help me do their gauntlet? Maybe. Maybe. Just not right now. Oh, not right now. I'm saying we can schedule it with Slopta. Hmm. Make a... See what best day suits yeah, all yeah, parties. Alright. User disconnected from your channel. User joined your channel. User disconnected from your channel. Disconnected. Well, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, feel free to follow and subscribe. Uh, of course, you know that if you've been on the internet for more than five minutes, if you didn't, then hey, welcome. I'm glad it was your first time on the internet was at my stream. <laughs> that being said, Arma 3 is always a hectic thing, and sometimes leaders... Sometimes leaders don't know what to do. Some of them do, and some of them say they do and don't. It gets convoluted. However, that's what 2IC staff and stuff is for, to help with that. That being said, apart from, you know, all of that, you're awesome. You're a valid person. I slap the dog shit of anyone who says otherwise. <coughs> And I will see you guys tomorrow for Sci-Fi Saturday. 
and I hope to see you there, maybe even in chat. And for those of you who are watching this uh, archived on YouTube, hi, how's it going? Your homework in the comment section, if you've made it this far to the end, Name a food that you have that's a weird combo, but delicious. For me, I take boneless, like the boneless, skinless, like chicken, and I'll soak it overnight in a zippy full of uh, Catalina dressing. And then when it's time to cook, I will batter, uh, roll it and batter it in crushed up spicy sweet chili Doritos and then put it in the oven. The, the, the sweet and spice with the tang and the taste of the chicken is very strange, but it's a clash of different flavors in your mouth and it's delicious. And if you do it right, it also comes out very juicy. So you're just sitting there like, oh my god. Oh, so good. <laughs> How I do that is I get, like, the regular, like, pan. Take the glass pans that are, like, the concave ones. So you take the, you take a little grating that runs along it. You put the chicken on the grating. And underneath it, you fill it with a little bit of water. And then you put aluminum foil over the top. This, and put just slight little holes in the top to vent. Take a fork, pop a couple of holes, maybe a knife, whatever have you, to let it vent the steam up through the aluminum foil. And you will essentially cook thoroughly your chicken and keep it moist using the steam. Uh, and let it hotbox a little bit before it finally puts enough pressure to vent out. And it comes out juicy and delicious while being fully cooked. And it doesn't really saturate the flavor. Um, and you get equal taste of all things. Anyway... That's my take on a food that's weird, but awesome. Anyway, I figured I'd share that because I don't want to give you guys homework without at least giving you an example. Hell, it could be as stupid as... Uh, well, I have a chili cheese dog with dill pickles on it, which, yeah, that's also me. Hey, if it, even if it's something like that, or, like, I like going to one Dixie's and getting hot wings from there because they're delicious. And a lot of people think that uh, it's just, like, absolute garbage. So even if it's a hot take like that, tell me. I find these interesting. Because even, even a place that has lousy food can have at least one item that's great. I'm not going to say Arby's is lousy, but it's not my cup of tea. But they do have an amazing chicken sandwich, buffalo chicken sandwich. And now they have like the buffalo chicken tenders. Oh, so good. Anyway, with that, I will see you guys tomorrow, because I'm out of here.